Here is my completed card, <laughs> number one. And I used the sentiment from the Seize the Day, Honeybee Stamp Seize the Day sentiments. Um, friends are like seashells, we collect along the way. And I, um, I popped that up on foam squares. I doubled the cardstock there just to give it, just to beef it up a little bit. And inside it says, you're amazing, thanks for everything. This card is for our son's camp counselor. One of his counselors is leaving today. <laughs> and I, I like how these uh, little shells from Honey Bee Stamps, um, trying to see what they're called. Can't remember what they're called. I think they're just called little shells. I don't know. But um, I used my um, paper tools to bend them, shape them, any way you want them. <laughs> and used some foam squares on the inside that I tucked in there and, and used my paper tools to shape them and give them some dimension. I think they look really cool like that. And then I used some of the um, Nouveau Crystal Glaze to put some water drops on them along with the seaweed and the background. And I used some of the Tim Holtz Mica Flakes on top of the embossing powder because I don't know why, but I just don't have any success using the white embossing powder ever, <laughs> except for sentiments. And that's, that's barely, barely a success. And this isn't sticking too well, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna glue it down a bit more. With some glue that actually works. So, anyway, that's the first card, like I said, and um, I hope you like it. So, what I did was I used the honeybee stencils, and I used all honeybee products on this, quite honestly. Some from this year, some from last year, and with the exception of this, which I think is, um, this is all to new stamps. So that's card number one. And card number two, which is still in progress, um, which I actually glued the background on upside down, <laughs> unfortunately. So, but I did the same thing with my shells here. I used my paper tools. And that's just basically these guys where I used some foam, thick foam, and laid my clamshell and my um, sand dollar on top of the thick foam and pressed down on it to give it some dimension. And um, same with this shell. I don't know what you call this shell. I don't know what kind of shell this is. Anyway, I also did the same with these little conch shells or whatever they are. And with also with my bird, my little sandpiper. I just love him. I think he's so cute. So I'll go ahead and fix this and get it um, cut off and glued on another card base. Be right back. And these are the finished cards. So this next card, I am going to be making a shaker card. And I'm using the Honey Bee, uh, what's an older die set? And doesn't, <laughs> doesn't seem to have a name. I don't know why every time I pick up a Honey Bee stamp set or die set, it doesn't have a name on it. Uh, well, anyway, it's their, their dome set. So, uh, so I've got this cut out and ready to go, except that I need to put a, a bottom on it and a clear glass layer. So I decided I was gonna to try to make this look a bit more like sand. 
So we've got some Dune cardstock here from Spellbinders, and I'm just gonna hit it up with a, a little bit of antique linen from Tim Holtz, Distress Ink. And don't wanna go too heavy handed, just gonna go kinda spotty, make it look like spotty sand. Same with my ocean. So my ocean is gonna have a little bit of seaweed in it. And just, this is not, you know, really what it's gonna look like. This is just piling it up there for configuration. But the shells, most of the shells will, um, some of them will be fixed and some of them will be loose. And then I'm gonna have some bling in there to float around also in the water so that's the uh the gist of the card so i'll finish doing this off screen and be right back so i've cut my acetate for my globe and i'm ready to glue that down onto the frame and and then i'm ready to put all the pieces together so i'll do this and be right back so I like to use wet glue and cover the whole thing. And then I take my finger and I go all around the edge so that I get all the excess and it is tacky. And it holds the acetate perfectly without any leakage. And I've, I've never found any other better method than what I just described. So, might give that a try. Unless you have a better method, then uh, please share it. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, that's the finished shaker card. And I used another sentiment from the um, Honeybee Stamps uh, Seize the Day set. And that was from years ago and it's blank on the inside because I'll, I'll I'll stamp it as needed then and that's it came out pretty nice I think I didn't want to use a powder tool to combat the uh, static electricity and I couldn't remember what other people used. <laughs> so uh, I just didn't do anything. But anyway, that's that card. And here's my um, my actual first card. And the uh, the other card was has already been given away. So I'll uh, I'll post all the details in my video description. And I hope you like these cards, and if you did, please leave us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. So, what I realized after shooting the end of that last segment was that I didn't have this on a proper card base. So, <laughs> I've gone ahead and cut one out using the dome frame. And um, I will uh, score across the top of this and um, clip what needs to be clipped off and that way it will be a, a proper card instead of something like that. So I'll be right back. Okay, here once again is the actual finished card. And um, what I did was I took a card base and ran it through the die cutting machine, but holding back on cutting that top half inch. And I added a score line and glued between the top of the card where it's not cut to the score line. Again, that's like a half inch. And that way it opens and closes properly. And I stamped my sentiments inside as well. And ideally this step would have been done before putting all the shaker bits in there and whatnot because it's you can't really press too hard on it now with the acetate on it. But um, 
Uh, you just, you work through your mistakes. We all make them, <laughs> especially me. So anyway, I, I hope you liked the video. And uh, if you did, please leave us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.